And right now, very pleased to have with us on the program, CNN Crossfires, S.E. Cup. S.E., how are you? I'm great. How are you? I am excellent. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm glad to see you survive the shot show okay. Barely. Wow. That was a long, that was a long <laughs> week, but what a fun, what a fun show. I mean, gosh, it's like a playground in there. I know it's amazing. Uh, at some point, we're going to have to go over the uh, the wish list, uh, and, yeah. uh, you know, and talk about uh, what you saw that uh, you liked. But I know that uh, last week you saw something you didn't like. Uh, Harvey Weinstein saying uh, he's got a brand new uh, anti NRA lecture on uh, on on film to deliver, uh, starring Meryl Streep. And you say spare us, please spare us, Harvey. Oh well, for so many reasons, this is absolutely preposterous. Uh, one is the obvious hypocrisy here. Harvey Weinstein is a producer who has profited immensely off of super violent movies like Kill Bill and Pulp Fiction. Um, I-, I know he gave an interview to Piers Morgan on CNN last week saying that he's actually going to stop making movies that glamorize guns. But uh, yeah. a quick search on IMDb shows that he's got Kill Bill Volume 3 in the works, as well as a whole slew of other violent movies. So I, I don't know when that attack of conscience actually goes into effect. <laughs> but for just, another, I mean, this actually just doesn't make much sense. These, these overtly ideological films, like uh, Rendition, for example, Lions for Lambs, that are touted and everyone's excited about it, they actually bomb at the box office because no one really cares what Hollywood thinks about, uh, about the country, what's wrong with it, and how we can all be better people. It's just not a, a voice that we listen to. And, and finally, if you look at other examples, um, for example, Michael Moore's anti-gun movie Bowling for Columbine, which is actually a documentary, so full of facts, and actually very successful. It was critically and commercially successful for Michael Moore. He won an Oscar for that movie. Since the year it came out, 2002, gun sales are up 54%. <laughs> so it's yeah. not like even a successful anti-gun movie Right. moves the needle on gun ownership or gun sales. We just don't care what Hollywood thinks on those issues. So so I wish him luck in this endeavor, but uh, it's ultimately going to fail and, and really only seeks to embolden NRA, NRA members. Um, yeah, I think you're right. And, you know, it, it's interesting because I don't know what he thought the reaction was going to be, that, you know, people in Hollywood, <laughs> I guess, were going to say, yeah, Harvey, you go, but... I gotta say, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of people point out, "Hey, Harvey, you know, you made a lot of movies that are really violent," which I think is why you had to address it. Well, not anymore. Uh, okay, put your money where your mouth is. You give your residuals to uh, to Mayor Bloomberg. Let 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 him, you know, dedicate all of those uh, those monies to various gun control yeah. efforts. Uh, I, you know, otherwise, sh- sh- come on, stop it. You're 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 an entertainer. Stick with entertainment. Well, those are delusional. And, and this, again, like the gun control crowd are always the people who know the least about guns and the NRA and how gun owners live and work. Um, you know, a, a gangbanger in Chicago does not care about the NRA. It's not motivated by the NRA. So in, in vowing to take down the NRA in this movie, he's not actually addressing gun crime either. I mean, he's he's basically taking down an organization that represents law-abiding gun owners. Why is this his target? I mean, it's, it's almost as if he doesn't, even, he doesn't even understand how gun ownership and gun crime work. And, and that's actually, I mean, that's par for the course. This mm-hmm. is not a group that traditionally is interested in facts or accuracy when it comes to gun crime. So I'm, I'm actually looking forward to this. I hope it is as delusional and preposterous as I believe it's going to be. And in the end, Honestly, it's it's going to be matched dollar for dollar, if not more, in contributions to the NRA. Listen, SC, as always, appreciate you coming on the program. Thank you so much, and I look forward Thanks, to doing buddy. it again soon. All right, right on.